Hello guys, Nato Ace here, and this is will be a follow-up on my thoughts of the Square Enix presentation for 2021. Actually, a response to disappointed fans. So, like I said before, I said it again. The main objective of the MMG as version 2 thoughts channel is I give my thoughts on something that interests me, even to some extent, YouTubers people on the internet and the reason I'm doing a response to disappointed fans especially because what they showed to some extent I can agree that they probably could have shown something better but at the same time maybe there was something more than Missy I maybe Square Enix said well we're catering to the western audience and maybe this is what the game they like Marvel uh, some Dark Soul game, because people do talk about that. New games, new cinematic games. I don't know. But that, of course, if you notice that Square Enix actually, re they actually announced that they will be doing a Final Fantasy Pixel remastered of Final Fantasy 1 all the way to Final Fantasy 6. So, at first, oh, that's so cool, until it's on... Steam and mobile and what's frustration there is why is it not on the console I mean yeah it's a good question I mean this type of game kind of makes sense to be on the Switch and why not who knows Square Enix is not about us anymore oh why are they doing this what the heck etc etc I don't understand I thought you were one of the best company because I enjoy your games okay first of all a lot of backstory here first What's the deal with IDOS? Well, at one point, Square Enix bought IDOS because, according to them, they wanted to build up their portfolio, not just with Japanese games, but as well with Western games. So it kind of makes sense because I think at one point, IDOS was also in a bind. They were looking for a bigger backer, so Square Enix was the one. So you got Tomb Raider, Hitman, uh, those other IDOS games, so that's the reason why. Yeah, so first of all, the surprise with Marvel, Guardian of the Galaxy, sure, whatever. It really is not that, like, uh, impressive, but, you know, it is what it is there. So that's basically what's happened. So the response is, I'm, I'm going to try to explain why they sort of did this X, Y, and Z. First of all, E3. Is it just a Western Target presentation? I think the answer is no. I think when you think of E3, it's part of a bigger video game event, but it's also sort of worldwide. And the reason why Square Enix are very into to mobile rather than console to some extent. I mean, they have mobile games. They have console games, like I said, uh, Final Fantasy Origin, the Dark Soul type game. Uh, you have, of course, the Avengers. They're trying to support it, but again, that game's not that good. You got Legend of Mana coming soon. But the biggest complaint that he got was that Final Fantasy 1 to 6, the Pixel Remastered, are only on Steam and mobile, especially mobile. And the question is, why is it mobile? And also the question is, why do I see mobile ads on this presentation? What the F? Well, first of all, the majority of Western audience are not into mobile. I've seen it. I watch some people. I talk to some people. Most of them are like, oh, mobile suck. Don't support mobile games. You know, they're free to play. They're not really that fun to each of their own. But there are some casual gamers. And there are some that I got into mobile game. believe it or not. I mean, I don't play that much, but it's still fun that are starting to get into mobile. Okay, fine. Because the reason is, while he's not a mobile player, he does not like to play mobile games, and you're putting those franchises in there. So it's more about, in my opinion, nothing personal. It's more like, those are good games, why are you putting it in a wrong platform? I mean, I get it, but you have to understand that Square Enix, first, it's a Japanese company, and then second is in Japan, and I said it before, 
they're popular with mobile games. A lot of those Japanese gamers are into portability. That's why the Switch is popular. That's why iPad, iPhone, cell phone, Galaxy phone, whatever, Android, they are into it. And I'm going to give credit to Matt Simon when he was in Japan, when he was traveling, he sees people on their cell phone. The reason why Final Fantasy VII Remake for a Soldier was on mobile rather than in a console. Because in Japanese, they love mobile games. So you have to understand also when push came to shove, they're also catering to the Japanese audience. That's what it is. It sucks, but that's just Square Enix's business, especially the Japanese side. And if you're not happy about it, that's your call. But there are some Square Enix fans who are actually happy with the presentation. Uh, I'm okay with it. I have no problem with that one. I mean, you're probably best to like speak for yourself than as a week because he kind of said that. Nothing personal there. But I can understand where it's coming from. But at the same time, you know, you got to understand that the Japanese audience, they like mobile stuff. That's why a lot of the Final Fantasy game, a lot of the Final Fantasy are always on mobile. There's a reason why they even advertise the Final Fantasy mobile game. Because in Japan, they like those. They enjoy playing those. There are a lot of people who play those games than like a Final Fantasy in the console. I know it's a shock, but that's what it is. So, yeah, I understand where it's coming from because hey, I'm OG too. They would be nice to have this on the console. Heck, even better if it's a compilation. But I wouldn't be surprised if they ever decide to put it on console. They're probably going to sell it for 10 bucks a piece, and then people are going to whine, oh, it's overpriced, but, you know, you got people have different opinion. It is what it is there. So, I feel for you disappointed fans, but you also got to understand that, hey, look, you know, the Japanese audience, I know E3 meant to be for the Western audience, but at the same time, people from other countries probably watching E3, and in Japan, they love mobile games. Yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is there. So those are my responses. Disappointed fans. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say, but, but it is what it is there. So with that, I'll see you guys later.